Hello everyone and welcome back to Undown Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Did you have a good weekend? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle, and take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now bring that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and we'll bring the circle back down. Now it's time to sing together. And if you know the words, make sure to sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and welcome to circle time. So before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's do three things quickly. The first thing that we need to do is turn on our listening ears like this. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. So a hat is something that you wear on top of your head. So take a look around your room and I'll look for mine. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a Velcro strap underneath my chin. So I'm just going to fasten the Velcro. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Friends, can you show me how you warm up your heart? Boom, 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 boom. That's right. So let's double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are warmed up. And now we are ready for circle time. So right behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. And when we begin with the calendar, we start off with the date. And when we say the date, we begin with the month. The month is right up here. Last week, we began a brand new month. Do you remember what the month is? May, that's right. The month is May and today is May 10th. So I'm going to move the chip over from the number seven. That was the last time that we met on Friday over to the number eight, nine, and put it right over the number 10 because today is May 10th. And right up here we have the year. Friends, there are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that the year is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. So will you say the date with me one more time? Are you ready? Today is May 10th. 2021 or 2021. Get those counting fingers ready. Give them a little stretch to warm them up. Let's count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of May. So I'm going to start off at the top with the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We have had 10 days so far in the month of May. Now it's time to sing the days of the week song. So can you show me how many fingers we need to hold up for this next song? Let's start with one hand, but one hand only has five fingers. We need two fingers, like more fingers like this to make seven fingers because we have seven days in the week. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. Right down here, this says that 
yesterday was, here's your clue, su Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is Monday and tomorrow will be Tuesday. But let's go back to today. Today is Monday. It's the first day of the weekday. Will you sing Today is Monday with me? It goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the season. Friends, we have been talking all about the season for a few weeks now. Last week, we began learning about arthropods, which we find during the season, and that's what we're going to continue discussing later on this week. But do you remember what the season is called? Spring! That's right, friends. It's springtime where I live. And when we travel back down here, this means that it's time to sing the weather song. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So right down here, I have a picture of a cloud and something is falling from the cloud. It's not snow. What could it be? Rain. That's right, friends. It's raining right now where I live. My temperature chart is right between light blue and orange. It's a little bit cool this morning, but later today it's supposed to warm up. So that's why I have it right in the middle. So a few weeks ago, I taught you a song about the rain. If you remember the words, you can sing along with me. It goes like this. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Friends, now it's your turn to share with me what the weather is like where you live. You can look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Monday, we have a brand new letter to talk about. This letter says V, V. Can you make that sound? That's right. V. And this is a lowercase v. V says v. V. And now let's see what's inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter v. V. I'll give you a couple of clues. And if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue, friends. These are a type of a food. Usually they are crunchy and savory. And these are very good for you. They're very nutritious. Do you know what it could be? Let's take a look and let's see what's inside of the box. I have some celery, I have a carrot, I have some broccoli, and I also have a piece of lettuce. So friends, when I hold all of these different kinds of food in my hand, do you know what kinds of food this is? Vegetables, these are vegetables, and vegetables Start with the letter V, V. Do you have a favorite kind of vegetable? 
My favorite vegetable is broccoli. This is how you write a lowercase v, v. One more time. And now, let's move on to the number of the week. We have a new double digit number to talk about. This is the number 23. When you write the number 23, you write two numbers, like you do with all double digit numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Two. And after you write the number two, you write this number. Can you show me what number this is with your fingers? Three. Two, three, 23. I'm going to grab my piece of chalk. You can grab something to write with. And if you'd like to, we can draw 23 tally marks together. If not, you can just count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 goes across, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 tally marks. And we have to count something else. I wonder what we'll find inside of the number box. I have 23 small sticks. They're also called twigs. And when we count the twigs, I like to line them up across the top of the box, just like the tally marks. So will you count with me? One, two, three, four, Five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty goes across, twenty one. 22, and one more makes 23 twigs. Now friends, when I look at this big pile of twigs, I want to find the smallest twig. Let's see, here we go. Here is the smallest twig from the group. And now I want to find the opposite. So the opposite of the smallest twig would be the largest twig. And here it is, the largest twig. The smallest twig and the opposite would be the largest twig. All, to count, all together, we counted 23 twigs. So we learned a new letter today, we learned a new number today, and now we have to learn a new sign of the week. This week, I'm going to teach you how to say spider in sign language. Remember friends, Sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. This is how you say spider in sign language. So watch both of my hands. You need both of your hands like this. You're going to put one hand on top of the other and wiggle your fingers up and down, just like a spider's legs. Will you try? Spider. This week, we're going to continue our exploration on arthropods, which include insects and spiders. Today, we're going to learn about dragonflies, which are one of my favorite insects because they look so magical. A dragonfly is a type of a colorful insect with a long, thin body, two pairs of wings, so four wings altogether, and six legs. Dragonflies are excellent at flying and can move up and down, side to side, and in any direction. A female dragonfly 
lays its eggs in or near the water. And once the nymphs hatch, they spend most of their life underwater. Now the nymphs are similar to caterpillars because they will molt several times before becoming dragonflies, just like a butterfly. An adult dragonfly can come in many different colors and have different wing patterns, and they can even change color depending on their age or the temperature. So for today's work, I have a fun experiment that involves color changes, just like a dragonfly. Let's go see. For today's work, you will need two glasses and an ice cube tray. And inside of the ice cube tray, we are going to make some colorful ice cubes. So fill the ice cube tray with water and add some blue food coloring to some of the cubes, some red food coloring to a few of the other cubes, and some yellow food coloring to the last cubes. And then let them freeze. So inside of the first glass, we are going to add a blue ice cube. Now these ice cubes have already started to melt, so they should pop out pretty easily. Here we go, blue ice cube. And we're also going to add a red ice cube. And then to the second glass, you're going to add a blue ice cube and a yellow ice cube. So in the first glass, we have red and blue. In the second glass, we have blue and yellow. Now, just like a dragonfly will change color as they get older or depending on the temperature, the colors in these two glasses are going to change color as well. So you can let them sit for a few hours or you can put your two glasses in front of the sun to speed up the process. Let me show you the two glasses that I started a few hours ago. And let's take a look to see what they look like now. So inside of the first glass, I did have a blue and a red ice cube, but look at it now. The color has changed to dark purple. And now let's take a look at the second glass. So I started with a yellow ice cube and a blue ice cube, but after a few hours of sitting, I now have green water. The colors have completely changed, just like a dragonfly. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. If you were a dragonfly, what color would you be? I would be green. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, will you sing the goodbye song with me? Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.